This Saturday is International Holocaust Remembrance Day, a time to remember the six million Jewish victims of the Holocaust and the millions of other victims of Nazi persecution. And this year it comes really as we're witnessing an alarming rise of anti-Semitism all around the globe, much of it stemming from the war between Israel and the terrorist group Hamas. Tomorrow, the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum will hold, hold excuse me, a special ceremony in Washington, D.C. It will also be streamed on its website. The Day of Remembrance comes as there's a new film that is based on a book giving an alternative perspective of a German family in 1943. WFMY News 2's Manning Franks let us know if the zone of interest is News 2 approved. Oscar nominations have just been announced, and you may or may not be familiar with some of the films that were nominated. One that I would like to highlight is one that nabbed both Best Picture, Best Director, and a couple of others. The Zone of Interest is what it's called. It's a German language film that deals with one of the darkest periods in human history, the Holocaust. Yet unlike traditional dramas that deal with this heavy subject matter, the Zone of Interest presents it in a new, and more importantly, a challenging way. Die herrliche Zeit, die mir gemütlich im gastlichen Hause Hörs verlebten, wird immer mit zu unseren schönsten Urlaubsländern herumgehören. Im Osten steht unser Morgen. Based upon the novel of the same name, The Zone of Interest is an exercise in highlighting the horror of complacency. The film follows a Nazi commander as he and his family attempt to build their idyllic life during World War II. All this amidst the backdrop of where they live, the outskirts of one of the most horrific places known to man, Auschwitz. Uh, make no mistake, the zone of interest is a difficult watch. It pulls no punches, and yet it makes a very deliberate decision. It never shows the atrocities committed on screen. Instead, the visuals are laced with smoke from over the garden wall, a pile of clothes given to the German family, and worst of all, the cries of anguish and screams of pain that erupt from all sides in sharp contrast to the family going about their lives. There is an unspeakable horror in their indifference. Director Jonathan Glazer could have made this film as straightforward as possible, but he didn't. He invites us to feel uncomfortable as the banality of this family's everyday tasks become almost overwhelming. Their evil in normalizing the atrocities in their literal own backyard is truly a feat that I believe warrants the title of some of the best direction of 2023. It's a visceral experience that will leave a lasting impression on you in a way that other films this year cannot. The Zone of Interest is a hard film to explain and if upon first glance you hear this and you think, uh, yeah, nope, not gonna be for me. I totally get that. However, I would encourage you if you're going to watch one international film this year, this coming year, what have you, let it be this one. Because not only is this a good movie, it's also a warning. A warning for us all to hear about the dangers of our own complacency. I'm giving the zone of interest a two approved. You can see it currently in theaters.